right, let's go ahead and get started. So welcome everyone, welcome to everyone on the live stream. My name is Jacqueline Flores, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm the producer for the Latinx Theater Commons. <laughs> I am so excited to tell you all what we have in store for the next three years of LTC programming and to tell you all how it happened. Um, in summer 2023, so last year, we put out a call for pitches. Um, the LTC has always been an open movement for Latinx and allied theater makers, practitioners of all stripes to come together, gather resources, and put those resources towards actions that cultivate, celebrate, and challenge our community. We try to be as decentralized as possible and spread that power that comes with access to foundation funding, relationships with gatekeepers, and name recognition. Like I've said throughout the weekend, the exact number of people in the LTC is hard to track because there are no dues or membership or pledges. If you want to be in the commons, you're in. And so we ask people, instead of saying, look at what they're doing, ask what can we do better? And we asked them to submit a pitch of programming that aligned with our values um, and that could use the partnership. And last year, Tara Houston wrote a piece for HowlRound called, How Do We Transform the Field We've Inherited? So I'm gonna read a little bit from that piece and I encourage you all to go read the whole piece on HowlRound.com. Um, but she said, how do we transform the field we've inherited? What are the needs of the moment? And how is the LTC the right group to take on those challenges? How do we get more Latinx places, plays <laughs> on stages in the United States? How do we honor teatros and their leaders? How do we work together in healthier and less harmful ways? How does Latinx work show up in this region whose voice isn't in the room? How do we tell stories together? How do we laugh together? How do we change? What do I need and what can I offer? Each LTC convening begins with an intervention, a powerful vision of potential and possibility that could only be achieved by gathering folks together and working in solidarity. So that's what we did <laughs> as we look forward to the future. And we invited folks to submit, uh, again, pitches, which were reviewed by the new programming committee. And then we invited a few folks to submit full applications. These applications were reviewed by the entire LTC Steering and Advisory Committee, and we had lengthy meetings about what our new programming should be, what it could be, what was possible uh, with the resources that we have, and uh, what, we, what we want the next, this next cycle of the LTC to look like. There are two people who co-champion this committee and I'm going to introduce them. They couldn't be here physically with us, but we're going to play a video and they're going to introduce um, our new programming. But they are Emilia Costa Powell. Yes. Um, Emilia is a longtime member of the LTC steering committee. She also championed the Comedy Carnival in 2022 in Denver, and she's currently in tech. Um, so we are sad she's not here, but she's the impact producer and co-director of artistic programming at Actors Theatre of Louisville. And then Eric Schwartz is also a longtime member of the LTC. Yes. And he's currently getting his MFA in directing at UCLA, so he couldn't be with us um, just now. But we send them both their love, and they will now share with us what's uh, going to happen in these next few years. Mm -hmm. My name is Amelia Costa Powell. I use she, her, AF uh, pronouns, and I have been a steering committee member of Latinx Theater Commons since 2015. Uh, I decided to step forward to volunteer as a co champion for the new programming committee because I really enjoyed participating in the 2018 new programming selection process. I was an applicant at the time who had submitted a project as a champion, a, a proposal, and I was really grateful for that experience. I learned a lot. I found the discussion around it really robust and fair, and um, I wanted to pay it forward and to steward a process for future champions so that they would feel as included and taken care of as I did then. So I'm really grateful to have had the opportunity to serve as new programming champion this time around, especially with my dear friend, Eric, and we look forward to sharing with you the new programming slate.
Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Eric Swartz. I use he, him, L pronouns, and I am one of the co-champions of the new programming committee for this cycle with my good friend, Amelia. Um, I joined the LTC in 2019 after having been one of the creative producing fellows on the 2017 Encuentro, and I was so inspired by uh, the conversations and by the community there uh, in Los Angeles um, that I decided that I wanted to, um, to contribute uh, and do my part, and uh, that is why Ultimately, I decided to join the new programming committee for this cycle. Um, I had previously been on Resource Gen and also on the uh, Comedy Carnival um, planning committees. And uh, that was such a wonderful experience and getting to, to see my friend Amelia uh, really shepherd that, that project and that process inspired me and the chance to, to work together um, to to lead this intentional process for the new programming cycle uh, coming up was um, an easy choice to make. And I'm super excited for this uh, new tranche of programming. We're gonna go to some new places, uh, talk about some, some new subjects, revisit some, some old themes and, and places. And uh, personally, I'm really excited that we are going back to DC, which is my hometown. Coming up this fall in October 2024, we will have an LTC convening at the 2024 Latino Theater Company Encuentro. Latino Theater Company is celebrating their 10 year anniversary of hosting these Encuentros with the first one happening in 2014. It will take place in Los Angeles at the Latino Theater Company at the LATC uh, in October. And the Latinx Theater Commons will host a weekend long convening during the festival that will aid in documenting, preserving, and disseminating what is learned from the participating companies, illuminating dialogue that emerges from the festival to achieve its events, and furthering the advancement of the Latine narrative in American theater. Those who have been to an encuentro before know that it is a joyful, fun celebration and a beautiful place to convene with fellow art makers and to discuss aesthetics in our Latine theater community. Our next bit of programming is the 2025 Fornes Institute Symposium, which is championed by Ann Garcia Romero and Brian Herrera, uh, which will be happening in Princeton, New Jersey in March 2025. The 2025 symposium will be designed to activate the next wave of critical, creative, and collaborative explorations of the Fornesian tradition. It will also celebrate the path-breaking publication of Fornes in Context, a volume featuring the work of more than 30 artists, advocates, and scholars, which is slated for digital publication in summer 2024. In summer 2025, Latinx Theater Commons will host the Carnaval of New Latine Musical Theater. This event is championed by Maria Patrice Amon and Lisa Portez and will take place in San Diego, California, summer 2025. The Carnaval serves as an intervention, uplifting Latinx theater artists, and this year's will expand our pool from not only directors and designers, but also including musical directors, choreographers, and the other artists who make musical theater specifically. We'll bring together Latinx theater makers and theater decision makers from across the nation to amplify, illuminate, and forward Latinx musical theater. In 2026, we will be going to the Southwest for the first time for the Actor Training Laboratorio, uh, which is championed by Cynthia Santos de Cure and Micah Espinoza. Uh, we are gonna be hosted by Arizona State University in Tempe, Arizona in spring 2026 uh, for our first event that focuses on actors and uh, specifically actor training. The Laboratorio seeks to reimagine and restructure the practice of actor training. It will offer participants the opportunity to practice in culturally inclusive forms and embodied acting techniques that embrace heritage, identity, and diverse narratives. The final event of our new programming slate is a forum on the future, language, technology, and provocations in multilingual theater making. This event is championed by Cristina Fernandez and Eric Schwartz and it will take place in Washington, D.C. in summer 2027. Washington, D.C. is the birthplace of the Latinx Theater Commons and a place where we have not reconvened in many years. 
The forum will gather artists, scholars, and industry professionals in our nation's capital to discuss the past, present, and future of translinguistic theater making. Participants will engage in bilingual and multilingual works, hear from artists and scholars across disciplines, network, and wrestle with the possibilities and hurdles of creating bilingual and cross-cultural works. Many of our Latinx Theater Commons events have had multilingual components, but we have yet to have an event or program that focuses on this topic specifically, and we're so excited to dig into a very important question and a group of ideas within our field of Latinx theater making. Yeah! We're very excited. We're very excited. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who is a part of the new programming committee. If you were part of it, we, ha you know, we, we went through the pitch form and all of that. Can you please stand? Yeah. It takes, it takes a lot of people, y'all. So thank you all for being part of the new programming committee and stewarding us into this next cycle of programming. Um, we also have some other partnerships that are still in the work, so stay tuned for that public announcement uh, in the coming weeks. But now, I'm really excited to introduce you to some of the champions in person so that you put faces to the programming that they're uh, going to be championing. And if you are interested in what they're doing, go up to them, introduce yourself, tell them you want to join and, and make the work happen, um, just like you've seen all the different committees that make our work happen throughout the years. And... Uh, Lisa is going to demonstrate how the champions are going to introduce themselves, and we're going to go in chronological order. You'll have to maybe shout that out. I'm going to move this. Okay. I'm a director. Okay. Uh, so, this is where we get our inner dork on, champions. Our inner proud dork on. So, uh, m many of you do not know this, nor should you, and I can't believe I'm saying it on live stream. But when I was a teenager, I ended up in a pageant in Nebraska, and I won it. <laughs> and then I had to go to the national championship, I mean the national pageant, and one of the things we had to do was this. Now imagine I'm wearing a large football that my mother made for me. Hi, I'm Lisa Portez. I'm from Nebraska, the great state of Nebraska, home of the Cornhuskers. Okay, so, um, <laughs> so this is what we're going to do as champions. Yes, if you're a champion and Jose Luis is going to kick us off, you're going to run up here and you're going to say, Hi, I'm Jose Luis Valenzuela. I am a champion for blah, 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 and it's happening, blah, 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 and something else. Okay? This is what we're going to do, and we're going to go in order. Okay, passing it to Jose Luis. I'm Jose Luis Valenzuela, and I'm the champion for the Encuentro 2024, and I want to see you all there in the convening. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brian Herrera. I am here with my, co my colleague and collaborator. Hi, I'm Ann Garcia Romero. And we are... And we are together the co-champions of the, the Fornes Institute. Institute. Get your stickers in the lobby. Um, also, uh, and we are here to announce the 2025 Fornes Symposium at Princeton University, which is a follow-up to the extraordinary success of the 2018 uh, symposium, which, as the paper that's going around, will remind you one of the great and enduring legacies of that is the Celebrando Fornes Initiative, which is extending to the centenary of Fornes' birth in 2030. Please take this information, celebrate it, pass it along, get it from me later if you need it. But we're going to be joining together and Princeton for one day of, a, of Fornes Palooza. And it's going to be involve art making and art presentation, as well as breakout conversations, thinking about the future of the next wave of Fornesian scholarship, art, and culture. Hi, I'm Maria Puchis Amen, and we are, I'm co champions with Lisa Portes, and we are bringing you the Carnival 2025 uh, Musical Theater Carnival. 
the LTC Carnaval of, of, of Latinx Musical Theater will feature new musicals by Latinx book writers, composers, and we will also feature music directors, choreographers, and Latine music theater directors uh, uh, to uplift and celebrate the vibrant work of our amazing people. Yay! Hi, I am Cynthia Santos de Cure. Hi, I'm Maika Alicia Espinosa. <laughs> and we are going to introduce to you the Actor Training Laboratorio <laughs> at Arizona State, State University. University. <laughs> we hope you'll join us. We're going to have a lot of fun. Come play, come learn. Let's dive into culturally inclusive forms and our heritage and dive into acting training. We look to reimagine the actor training in the American theater and empower a future generation so that we can be seen in all of the spaces across the globe. Orale! There's too many mics, y'all. Um, hi, hola, I'm Cristina Fernandez, and me, along with Eric Swartz, are presenting the 2027 Foro del Futuro Forum on the Future Bilingual. I'm gonna see, we wrote the most amazing thing. A Forum on the Future, language, technology, and provocation in multilingual theater making. We're gonna have actors, um, plays, uh, scholars speak about the work and all the chal exciting challenges um, about making hybrid work and in different languages and the technologies that we have emerging that we can work with. And we're super, super excited. And we can't wait to see you in 2027. Woo! I'm going to get my screen. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> All right, everyone, that is our programming for the next three years. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in via the live stream. Um, yeah, thank you. Very excited. Very excited to see you all over the next three years in these many cities. All right. <laughs>